Um, for me, when I started, I don't think I had a lot of self-respect. So yeah. by the time I went to comedy, I was like, we agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm useless. I'm not funny. I blame. Um, you know, so I think, I think, and I also didn't really think about comedy as being male or female. Don like I kind of yeah. didn't really think about it like that. It's also, you know, stand up comedy is such a feminine behavior. It's just like dominated by men because it happens late at night. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we're just up. But it, it, totally. we're just yeah. but it is, it's like, it's stand up comedy is going on stage being like, listen to me, I need to be heard. Yeah. And then you're like complaining and talking about your emotional problems in your relationships. Like yeah. that's the, yeah. our thing. That's probably why it's guys. It's just guys version of therapy. Like we're too scared to go do therapy. Yeah. And we'll go in front of a crowd and talk about how you're my other touch me. Yeah. Go to the <laughs> MMA fight or like make yeah. jokes about it. Yeah. Totally. We like to we like to talk about MMA, <laughs> talk about our feelings, but it has to be in front of a lot of people. Totally, um, but I think that sometimes like I, I I was just really like we need to communicate and communicate, and then I was like, but if we're not a match, none of this is gonna fix that. No? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I guess how do you determine when it's not a match, or it's just you being in your own head creating those narratives that you're not a match? If you meet your match young, that's awesome. Like yeah. I think that's so cool. I knew I was not going to meet my, and I don't mean matches in my like match, mm -hmm. like my person until I a little bit later because I knew I had so much work to do on myself. And